Hello and welcome to another tutorial session and this time it's AngularJS. I'll show you how to create an AngularJS project using a generator tool called Yeoman. Yeoman helps to kickstart new projects very easily and for the same they have provided some generators. A generator is basically a plugin that can be run with a yo command to scaffold complete projects or useful parts. A Yeoman workflow comprises of three parts of tools for improving your productivity when building a web app. The scaffolding tool Yo, the building tool Grunt and the package manager Bower. If you are not aware of any of these tools, not to worry at all. Knowledge of these tools are not required for the scope of this tutorial. Yeoman requires some prerequisite install before you can install the generator. Node.js npm which ha comes bundled with node.js and git if you don't have any of these pre-install please get it done before proceeding hope you have all the prerequisites in place let's get on with installing the three tools yo grunt and power let's start installation using terminal we are setting the installation for global access It fails with the E axis, so we need to go with this sudo command. So we'll be using npm for all the dependency installations. There you go, the install installation starts now. It might take a while depending on your internet speed. There you have it. Grunt, Power and Yo installed. Now let's check whether uh, the proper versions are installed or not. Okay, everything seems to be fine. With Yo installed, we can now install the generator required for Angular. It must be noted that Yo tool is not just for scaffolding Angular apps, but can be used to generate scaffolding for many other web apps for uh, React, Backbone, Polymer, etc. Let's go to the Yeoman website and then try to discover the generator which we really require. Search for Angular and you can find it as the one of the generators created by the Yeoman team itself. And for the usage We can run this command using npm. Go back to the terminal. And run the generate angular command. Oops, again I made that sudo mistake. So include sudo in case again. This is the common mistake I make. I always miss out on the sudo command. Run the angular. It will again take a while. One other tool I would want to include now is the Karma tool, which lets you do test runs on your Angular project, which is also there uh, recommended by the human. 
tool as part of their package. Let me now create a new folder under my tutorial work folder. Create a new, new folder for the Angular project called Yo Angular. And run the generator there yoke angular for creating an angular project you need to run the yo command with angular so my installation starts and it asks for a specific set of initial setup questions whether you need to include grunt or uh, whether you need to include gulp which is another similar tool similar as grunt whether you want to include SAS as the CSS format or you want the regular CSS or uh, you want the bootstrap uh, pre-installed along with it so once done the installation starts and uh, all the dependencies are included There you go, our an Angular project is uh, installed. Now we can try running the project using the grunt command called serve, which is a built-in server, which you can run and see your application. And now you can see that the project is running fine. Now let's see what, what all what is the project structure which is being created? We have the power components, the node modules, everything generated. You have the test module and all the required files are within the app folder. We have a couple of views generated. All the dependencies uh, are pre-populated now uh, along with the generator uh, we can actually run different kinds of commands to generate uh, a different set of individual items uh, within angular project by running commands with yo I'm trying to run uh, a yo route command which will actually include a new route within the app.js folder and it will include all the dependent uh, files like the controller and the view files and it will add the dependency directly so this is one of the advantages of uh, using the yo generator you can see that uh, by running that command it has created uh, the files required files for that particular route which I created so you can see that there is a code easy.html file being created just modify the content and within the index.html the dependency is also added now I'm creating a new menu item called code EC and I need to refer the route which is being created so for that I need to go to the app.js file within the scripts folder and you can see that the generator has created a new route automatically for us and just take that uh, new route and include it within the index.html the new uh, menu which I have added now 
so you can also see that there is a controller corresponding controller for the core C route also generated so let's go to the you, you can see that it is already re, live reloaded this is one of the features of uh, yeoman where they have included a live uh, reload so whenever there is a change in CSS the live reload happens similar to the yo angular uh, route command which we executed now we can also execute uh, multiple other uh, commands which will generate uh, individual controllers or directives or views or filters so let's see how that can be done now let's run a view command and see yo angular view will generate a view with a particular name that we give So this will generate a view within the views folder called notification.html. Now if you want to create a controller, you just have to run the command yo angular controller notification which will generate a notification. It's not ng, it's a uh, yo angular controller and uh, notification. That generates a notification uh, controller file within the scripts folder. Similarly, if you want to generate a directive, you just need to enter. Uh, yo angular directive that's it it generates a directive file and you can also see that there are test scripts being generated as well so that will help you in unit testing you can see that the files are generated with a particular template the directive file within the directives folder which has the template required to start off hope you like this tutorial if so please subscribe to our channel and support thank you